Korea versus Mega Top of the table play so far, heading over in Group A. And Pixie, we're already right into Oasis. And for those of you who are maybe joining us for the very first time, of course, Mega, a mainstay of the Pacific region, hailing from Thailand and Monster Shield Korea, funnily enough, from Korea. So, hey, for those of you who have just been watching Korea, this is the team that qualified into Season 2 here in Pacific, top of the tables in Trials. And this is already proving to be a pretty exciting match. We're at 99% here for Mega. Only just flipping the way of Monster Shield. We're expecting big things from both teams here. It's gonna be crazy jumping in first now. Dragon Blade up and ready. Look at that, Mega. Yeah. Their ultimates here to be used, no stall factors. They got a little bit of time to play with. And I think they are just kind of leaning into how much time they have to play with here. They know that they've got some key ultimates coming up. That Valkyrie on Rocket going to be available for this next fight. And they just pulled a Dragon Blade and a Transcendence out of Monster Shield Korea. They will be happy with that fight. They only need to win one more, Mega. Do have some couple of new members on Mega as well. Pudo with a slight roll swap onto the Tracer. Tidawat back to his old name as well from Loco and into the next engage. Ooh, into the nah, first casualty there. That's Monster Shield really making the most of that sound barrier. Mushroom has to pop that self-destruct to stay in the fight. They have at least traded out Beppo, but really losing some members. This is looking like it might just slide the way of Monster Shield Korea. That being said, Mega got that 99 in a very protracted fight. I do very much expect them to reset and hold on here, and you can already see that kind of coming to pass. Having now taken out the majority of that DPS line, if they can just keep tabs on those supports, but they're having a hard time but rocket down. Pichu's have to go onto Soldier so that he can book it back to the point. NZNR as well having to make the change over onto the Brigitte here. And this is a really tenuous situation. It seems like the damage is good so far. The kills are coming Just through. Barely. Through. And the soldier pick is working out as well. Now it's Monster Shield kind of on their back foot. Mega have to get this cap over first. And then we'll have to see if Monster Shields can get their members in. Dragon Blade ready for crazy. Yeah, desperately trying to turn it back around. Does at least drop NZ and up before going down himself. But Mushroom just barely staying alive on this point has been instrumental. Rocket is solo healing. But Pichu has kind of made it worth their while. He's actually put out enough damage here that this has worked out. See him now taking out the opponent Lucio there, Lee J gone. I mean, gone indeed, right? And they're going to be able to swap it back over. Wow, that was... I mean, really there were two <laughs> very good fights, both of which Mega ended up winning. And uh, what we didn't quite get to see broadcast live was when Mega actually started off this map, they had a bit of a lead, they had about roughly 50 or 60% in ahead in terms of progress before Monster Shield actually came in and took that off. So Mega coming in with these early advantages, and we look at a team like MSKR, they are, like you sort of said over there, first place in trials, kind of gives us a little bit of the, you know, a little bit of what, what Dinnet Korea did last season. Right? Yeah. Came through number one in trials, looked like the best team. Coming into this, this might actually be the best Korean team in all of Group A, and there's five Korean teams there total. Wow. And that's kind of what Monster Shield KR have uh, ahead of them, potentially. They've kind of got the legacy of Ardient and, like you said, Dinnet Korea before them. 